I've always been touched by James's friendly and positive attitude and his personality. And it's something which I think has done him very well throughout his entire life. And it always reminds me of when my mum used to say to him when he was younger, PMA, positive mental attitude. And I think it's something that she would have been very proud to see you take on board, James, as a message and also to embody in your later life. And Jenny, I see the same qualities in you as well. And I think the same qualities that also make James a likeable person. You're, you're very generous, you're kind-hearted, and you welcome everyone who, can, who has, who's fortunate enough to come into your life. Today and forevermore, we will develop the qualities that are instilled in us from further the ones we loved. James, I will always strive to do my best for you and to be the person that you need me to be. Every step taking us higher and higher together. You have a shining soul and I will make it my life's work to polish and keep your soul shining. I'd also like to thank all the people that couldn't be here, including my mother Susan, who if I started talking about the, her impact on my life, I would be here all night. Jen's mum Lette, a huge and sad loss uh, to all that knew her and to our family. Also Jen's dad Alejo, who I never had the privilege of knowing, but was such a huge rock for her throughout her life. I vow never to take away any of myself, but instead give more than ever before as I guide you through every part of my heart until eternity. To James and Jenny. gift of God through which husband and wife may grow together in the knowledge, love and service of God. It is given that united with one another in heart, in mind and in body, they may increase in love and trust. James, will you take Jenny to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and care for her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her, as long as you both shall live? I will. Jenny, will you take James to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and care for him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him, as long as you both shall live. Amen. 
So many people live in the past and many people live in the future. But I think the most important thing is to try and live in the present. Because in this moment, we're living now. This is when it's all happening. Soon, these memories that we've planned for so long will become history. And so it's important that we compile these moments in to remember the here and now, so that when we look back in life, we can see what we look forward, loved in the moment, and this will lead us shining into the past. James and Jen, we wish you more fun and excitement for today, hopes and dreams for tomorrow, and love and happiness forever. Raise your glasses and drink a toast with me to the health and happiness of James and Jen. James and Jenny are now to enter this way of life. We pray for them, that the Holy Spirit will guide and strengthen them, that they may fulfill God's purposes for the whole of their earthly life together. So something happened back in August When we were way up in the mountains And I just asked you to be on I proclaim that they are therefore husband and wife. And of course, I would like to thank the main lady, my bride, my stunning bride, uh, Jenny. Uh, she's pulled out all the stops for this one, and truly, I think that your handcrafted art items are absolutely wonderful. In fact, everything that you've done today has been absolutely tremendous. manner keeps people at ease you told me and makes people summer. love you more you in the way that you laugh and the way that you love others I really and I will and I love that about you and I want to treasure that and create more and more beautiful memories forever with you. I promise you my heart and with it I'm forever yours. Love you Dawn. When you become somebody else feels like